What is up, y'all? Back here with uh, just another day. Basically, on the agenda today is trying to make sure internet works. That's going to be a bit of an issue. Um, there's a couple different systems that we have to go through to figure that one out. Um, but yeah, yesterday was a pretty solid day. Finished off the night with uh, a nice restaurant in Santiago. So yeah, pretty good. Got to do some uploading to YouTube on the other vlogs so you guys have more content to watch. Um, yeah, again, another really nice night to sleep. This is my second day at the lake. Uh, second morning at the lake, let's put it that way. Um, third, third actually day being here. Yeah, another beautiful day. I mean, it doesn't get any more pretty than just a bunch of trees and a bunch of mountains. Love nature. Alrighty. So, I just got down on the dock and uh, here is Mr. Mati Gonzalez, world-class renowned trick skier. What's up, dude? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> He's a little camera shy. Hola, amigo. ¿Qué pasa, señora? ¿Cómo estamos? Ah. ¿Todo bien? Muy bien. Uh, una cappuccino, por favor. Gracias. Well, I just had to get myself another cup of coffee. It was so good. Um, yeah, one of the Mirandas just went out in the water and skied. So yeah, you can definitely shred. There's some good skiers out here. Even better coffee though. Last video I was telling you guys uh, that I was on a broadcasting team and here's my camera rig um, this is what I normally carry around it has a big backpack um, this is what we use for all the live um, dockside interviews or just moving interviews or just moving shots in general you're able to get in a whole lot of weird spots it has a gimbal on it, it has a nice black magic camera um, it has its own microphone even though we normally pull uh, audio from a announcer microphone and just nice display it's a little heavy over the time but you get some really cool shots I ain't singing shit because I'm gonna get hold for copyright and then it happens for game We have just secured audio for the announcers um, and making sure all the microphones come back to the computers. Talkback, which is a system that so the head producer Vince can contact the head announcer Tony um, through the system called Talkback. Um, so yeah, we got the announcer table in. It's not what we'd normally use. One sec, there's a boat going by. It's not what we normally use for an announcer desk, but it obviously we're traveling the world and uh, we can't really bring a full size three person announcer desk with us. So we're kind of making some impro or, um, improvises, but good news is it works so far. Bad news is internet still doesn't work. So that's next on the to-do list. We have just reeled up the cables um, that was leading to the jump uh, tower cam. Um, that was a fiber optic cable and we replaced it with one of our shorter fiber optic cables. And now we have met this great person so we can get some uh, good internet. He is standing behind me. Gracias, internet. Gracias. Um, so Vincent, you want to explain uh, why we're doing this? So we're connecting to this old man house for internet because they got good speed here, but apparently, so the speed seems all right, but apparently they're losing it on a two to three day basis. So we'll see if it holds up. People are stealing the fiber, apparently that's what happens. He stole the fiber and then the house doesn't have internet until they put the fiber again. 
So we're hooking up here because so far we're not getting internet. And then we hope that I guess no one steals the fiber while we're streaming. And in the meantime, I'm gonna disconnect this random ass plug that I hope we don't need. <laughs> Just disconnect them plugs. My shit. Uh, yeah, so no, if we have our fiber stolen, which I don't think is gonna be a high possibility, um, then obviously we're out close to five grand uh, just in fiber cable and also we're out uh, on internet. The, spa the SpaceX Starlink was very, very good for uh, downloading content. It would have like 100 megabytes per second, which is phenomenal for download speed. Um, but upload speed was not that great. It was only about six and kind of need close to 10, 16. Tony, how much would you say you need on upload for webcast? Uh... 12, 13, a lot more. Yeah, so you... And anything more than that is, uh, is just uh, a better overhead. Nice. Yeah, so like he was saying, you need close to 12, uh, 13, and then anything extra is extra. I mean, you can push out higher quality at that point. So yeah, we're gonna finish up with this cable. So we just made it back to the computers and just explain what's uh, happening with the internet. So we're in the middle of the lake. We took one of our long fiber that was doing the ramp landing camera. We took that cable, which is 1,250 foot, and we pulled it from base station across the road through the trees to then be pretty much, we use almost all the cable to this random dude's house, which is one of the neighbors from New Orleans. That's got solid internet, very good speed. We're able to push very good, but apparently it's unsteady. As I said earlier, they said that no, they lose it quite a lot, either from service provider or from people stealing the fiber of the houses. So cross finger, hopefully it pushes. We're still able to have our jump camera because we used another fiber, 750 foot. So far we're looking good. All the cameras are working. We got internet, we're live. Now we just got to keep it up for another five days of Pan Am and four days of Two World, so for another nine days, which it's fine. We got our own power that happened this morning. We want our separate breaker, 15 amp breaker on our own. So that's good news. Looking good. We're missing an umbrella for dockside camera and we're missing a bit of a fancier desk for Tony because it's a bit tight, it's a bit small, but we're looking good. We have a great setup there at Tower for Jump is going to be beautiful and for Trick as well and for Slum as well. But Jump's going to be really, really good. So we'll see you now lunchtime. Lunchtime, babe. Wow. Hola, compadre. Hola, compadre. Hola. Bon. Io. So, I just got my lunch. It is the um, Hamburguesa de the Sport. And it looks absolutely delightful. I'm gonna eat this, don't want you guys, well, you guys probably don't wanna see me eat anyways. Um, so yeah, I'll give you the update after I finish this thing. Tincho recommended me the Spot Hamburger. Have to say, phenomenal, I am so full right now. But I got to see a show when I was out there. You were out there tricking, uh, how was it? Oh, it was pretty good. I did up and back and it was pretty good. Up and back's good enough for a pro skier. So uh, <laughs> definitely not me when I'm out there tricking. I spend <laughs> most of my time in the water. Checking out, Tony. Uh, just, just, just putting the finishing touches to a spreadsheet uh, that will be uh, doing some overall calculations. You know how I like to do that, of course. Yeah, and then, who do you think is going to set the biggest world record this event? Uh, well, I mean, I don't know if Dorian's going to be on his way here or anything in the open competition. I'm sure Martin's going to be, uh, be be up there in the overall as well, in both juniors and in uh, in open as well. So. Uh, you know, it's going to be a, it's going to be tough to determine who who comes out on top. You know, but it's going to be a, a competition that I'll be keeping a very very close eye on, like no one else. Perfect, Tony. So I am here with 
Amber. Amber? And you started skiing in August, correct? Yeah. Uh, what got you into it? Why did you start skiing? <laughs> um, because I have friends that ski, mm -hmm. and I start because I know it. I know it. No. And I started because. Of Perfect. <laughs> awesome. Keep up the good work. Get some big scores. Uh, ski a lot of tournaments. See you. Well, well, Connor, in his infinite wisdom, is going to try and put a hammock up. No, I'm going to let uh, Master John do it. Uh, the adventure man. He's like freaking the America's answer to Bear Grylls. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Perfect. It's gonna stretch. How's your hammock? Good so far. It's... You look tight. Yeah, I know. Remember that time that you tried to like tackle me in the grass when I was on the phone with my parents? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now you're like in a hammock so I can like just flip you upside down if I wanted. No, no, no. <laughs> Ow. Don't worry, I'm not that mean. Peace. Not that big. Chilling in the hammock. I just lost the worst game of uh, Taka Taka ever. Um, yeah, it was 10 to one. Pretty nuts. Well, that was a much more entertaining match. Uh, we went to and tied all the way up to 15-15, even though, uh, yeah, we were supposed to stop it at like 10. So yeah, no, it's, uh, Taga Taga is very, very fun. It's uh, foosball in American terms. Um, but yeah, just fun times on the dock. Well, Vincent, is that a wrap of the day? Rough for today. Internet's working so far so good. Gotta hope that the internet still works until the event starts, but... Oh, the kid will be running. Oh, wait, oh, they're, no, well, no, they're doing the open activity. water swimming. Oh. But that'll be a good time to run the cable there. Yeah. They're doing some uh, swimming practice over there. Yeah. Yep, so now uh, wrap the site. Everything seems to be working properly. And um, now it's time to go grocery shopping <laughs> in uh, Chile. So I'll take you along on that experience. Some things are definitely different than the US. Um, I find it very interesting, so hopefully like, you will too. Like magnetic buggies. Magnetic buggies, yeah, that's gonna be a, definitely a clip. We are currently trying to get out of Miranda uh, Ski School. The security is just too good. Uh, we've been here for about 20 minutes because the gate won't open. Mr. Gustavo over here is stuck on the outside of the gate trying to get his ski set. Uh, how many sets are you going to take today? Today. Two. Two? Two. Yeah. What are you going to run? 38 at least. Heck yeah, dude. All right. Grocery store time. <laughs> See you. So it turns out the gate was actually broken. So uh, I went on a little adventure with Mr. Gustavo trying to find the back entrance into Miranda's. But downside is it was locked. Um, we got some more skiing happening on the water. Um, so yeah, I just decided to stick around here. I really didn't need any groceries I was going with to uh, show you guys. Which kind of sucks, but I'll have to go back to a grocery store sometime soon. So you guys will see that then. Oh, so, I am here. Uh, like I said, we did not end up, or I did not end up going to the grocery store. But we are going to Santiago, Tony. Yes. Are you excited? Thoroughly. Thoroughly. So I actually already ate. I had some hot dogs. But I'm going to go down there and just hang out with the crew and uh, just enjoy everybody. Mm -hmm. See you.
y'all want things But what you gonna do for a hike on me? Well, this guy just set off the car alarm next to him because of his awesome Ford Bronco Or not, not Ford Bronco, uh, Blazer Muy perfecto, muy perfecto. Well, dinner was a success. Super, super nice restaurant. Uh, it's called the Bar de Rio. And um, yeah, super phenomenal food. I'm not really sure what I ordered. Um, but yeah, it was perfect. Anyways, this is the end of the vlog. So I will see you in the next one.